Okay, here we are. Milkshakes and meaning with Dave Charles. Dave, say, 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 say something. Just How say you doing? Higher. Okay, thanks. I appreciate that. Don't talk too much, though. <laughs> hey, uh, so Dave, Dave is a, uh, is a, uh, a, pa a pastor at St. Mark's. St. Mark's, yeah. St. Mark's Methodist Church here. It is a Methodist church on South Main Street. It is the church that's across from Little Caesars. That's how everybody knows us. You know, I thought it was next to Little Caesars, to be honest, for some reason. I don't know why. What's that one? Well, it's kind of a... It's kind oh, of, across. Oh, that, yeah. Okay, it's the right one. It's then. next yeah. to, across from. Okay. There. Caddy Corner to the dry cleaner. Okay, yeah, yeah. And, and, and what, what are you, the? Uh, what, what's your position there? In the associate position. The associate pastor associate pastor so dave charles works out at xt fitness too you've already been there a month and a half two months how long have you been there i've been coming there Three months? since december december 18th okay oh really yes okay and you're like it we don't want to get too much on xt fitness but you you, you like it don't you i like you love it. it i i i i love it Okay, and I mean, if you think you're gonna, I just want to get this out there right now. If you think you're gonna look like me ever, get that out of your head right now, pal. Well, <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding. We're drinking um, milkshake. Yeah, yeah, well, go ahead, go ahead. I, I like it. I don't like the 5:30. Is what I, what I don't like. That's that's rough. Really? You don't no, like the 5:30 a.m. Well, it's nice because you get your workout out out of the way. Yeah. But okay. 5:30, man, is is rough. Yeah. I go because of Eric. Eric. Yeah. My buddy goes at 5.30. Okay. okay. So it's accountability. Yeah. Accountability yeah. is key. Yes. And you know I, I promote that at, at XT Fitness. And we are drinking shakes. And I, I, it's a little weird. I mean, Mine has I, fruit in it. Yes. They've got a, cher a cherry shake, which I thought was kind of weird. I have a lemon custard uh, from Deach's Brothers here in town. And um, tastes good. But, you know, I, drinking a, I bet you feel this way right now. Drinking a shake with your trainer. It's kind of like it would be almost like doing something bad with your pastor. I don't know, so like 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 sinning with your pastor. What analogy could I make with that? I mean, I, well, I don't think that's a. I don't think drinking a shake in moderation with your trainer is that bad. A couple of minutes ago, we spent 15 minutes talking about fiber. So everybody knows that I love fiber. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So what, 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 you, you know you're middle aged when you spend 15 minutes talking about pooping. How how, how long have you lived? That's just asking how old you are in a polite yeah. way. Oh, I've we my wife and I moved to Finley. I mean, how 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 long have you lived? Oh, like how, 49 how old years. are you? Fine, forty nine years. Oh, when's your birthday? Uh, September. When are you you're gonna turn fifty in September? Yeah. Yeah. I'm January twenty seventh. You old. Okay. Anyhow. <laughs> All right. So milk. But I look. I look thirty two. Do you do look young? You do look young. I do. I keep yeah. it tight. Yeah, you do keep it tight. Yeah. Uh, anyhow. So milkshakes and meaning. So I'm just gonna. I, I, I just want to kick off a, a question, like a like couple easy questions, like um, why are you know easy questions to answer, like why are we here, where are we going, oh. you know, like after our, our like after our physical bodies, since we work out at XD Fitness, will probably be at least 50 to 57 years, um, die. Where are we going? And I know you're a Christian pastor, and I kind of gave you my down low. Uh, I just called you a pastor, didn't I? Pastor. Yeah. I gave you my little 20 second story on how my my uh, faith has wavered over the, the last few years. Give me something, Dave. Everybody's faith wavers. It does. Yeah, my faith wavers at times. I'm a human, but I'm I'm on this kick lately. Yeah. Um, instead of what's the best way I can explain it instead of worrying about what's going to happen to me when I die I'm worried about as far as being a Christian so I'm living my life so I can go to heaven or, or what have you uh, what if we all start to focus on What good is Jesus in the here and now? So I'm not worried about what's going to happen after I die, mm -hmm. necessarily. I'm, what I want to start to kind of focus on is, like, what good is my faith doing me in the here and now? Okay. And for me, it brings me hope. It brings me closer to other people. You know, I, I think about things like, hey, if we all lived like Jesus or Jesus wanted us to, 
wouldn't this be a pretty rocking world? But yeah, yeah, I do, I do like that. I do like the life of Jesus. Right. And so I'm like, if all Jesus did was die so I could go to heaven, I don't know. I think he's got to be about a little bit more than that. Uh, yeah. You know, I mean, maybe Jesus lived and was here so, uh, so I could think about my fellow man a little bit more. And so I could, uh, like Jesus' resurrection power has got to be more than about after you die. Like Jesus has the power to change and resurrect lives here and now. Okay. On like this that. side of the grave. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, I mean, is, 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 isn't there somewhere in the Bible where it says heaven, heaven is almost like now? Doesn't Jesus say that somewhere? He, he does point to that. Um, you know, what, is, what does that mean? But I think people tend to start said? looking. They always look at heaven as like pearly gates and streets of gold. And like a, like God's best imagination is just like a, a really souped up Rodeo Drive. Yeah, right, right, right. And yeah, and, 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 and maybe that's not the way it is. Yeah, maybe that's not maybe that's not the way it is. I look at those the story of Lazarus. Um, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Guy, he, he wanted a drip of uh, he just wanted a little drip of water on his tongue. No, Lazarus is the guy who died. He was he's a friend of Jesus, and he died. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Jesus comes and. When, when Jesus would come to Jerusalem, he'd usually stay at Lazarus' house with his sisters. And his, and somebody goes and tells Jesus, hey, Lazarus died. All right, he's really sick. And Jesus kind of takes his time getting back to Lazarus. And when Jesus does encounter Lazarus, he says uh, 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 he's, he's dead by then. Yeah. And uh, sisters are crying and all this stuff. And Jesus says, hey, Lazarus, uh, come out. Out of the tomb he was yeah. in. And uh, sure enough, Lazarus does. Jesus brings it back. And I think about that story and I think about doesn't Jesus sort of do that all the time with our lives? Sort of, you hear about these people who've had these total new beginnings because they started to follow Christ. I also think about the other people involved in that story. I mean, Lazarus could have stayed in the tomb. Because said, now nah, I'm not coming out. It's kind of nice in here. And I I think sometimes we do that. But um, Jesus, or Lazarus did decide to come out of that tomb. But I also think about the people involved around that story. Um, you know, Jesus asked other people to help unbind Lazarus as he came out. People, Jesus asked um, them to roll away the stone from his tomb. And I think that's kind of what it's about too, is we all have Lazaruses in our lives, people around us who are struggling. And, and Jesus, he could have, I mean, he just brought somebody back to life. He had the power to blast away a stone or, mm -hmm. or make the wraps magically fall off but no Jesus asked other people to to help so what do you what, what are you saying with, there with, with with Lazarus's okay. resurrection and I, I think that's part of the reason why we're here too is not just not just for ourselves to be resurrection oh, like that. but 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 so we could play a part in other people's resurrection I I, I like that day that, yeah. that, that's 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 good food for thought uh, I, I think I'm in the tomb I'm in the tomb we we all are to some degree, but uh, not to minimize what 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 you're going through. But we all are to some degree. Uh -huh. I mean, we 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 need something bigger, you know. Yeah, yeah, you know. Uh, and we need each other too. And milkshakes. And milkshakes, yeah, yeah. Milkshakes are, are key. I mean, we're having. I mean, far because I I read the Bible. The the. the uh, I don't think I've ever, I've never read the whole thing cover to cover, but I tell you what, I read the New Testaments, uh, not including Revelations, because I just couldn't wrap my head around some of that stuff, but I've read parts of it, um, but the New Testaments, I mean, uh, uh, through multiple times, so I, I know a lot of those biblical stories, and uh, gosh, I just, um, 
once I started to look at other stuff and read other things, and of course, you know, I talked to you about my daughter a little bit, having cystic fibrosis, and then I thought, look at this stuff, you know, and then I started listening to scientists and astrophysicists and uh, just about uh, uh, evolution and, uh, you know, hey, this, you know, people don't walk on water. It's not scientific. It just doesn't happen. People don't get rose from the dead after three days. It's scientific. It just doesn't happen nowadays. I mean, is it an old text that we have to say, okay, find the stories that are good and throw out the stuff that is bad? Or uh, how, how do you, how do you, uh, what do you, what do you have to say? When about I that trudged or? through the Bible, um, you know, first of all, there's the Old Testament and the New Testament, and, and people get a little hicky about, you know, well, the Old Testament. That's just a bunch of stories and but what is what is the key to the Christian Bible is obviously Christ so I'm as I'm reading through that I'm I'm always looking to how is this pointing to Jesus uh-huh okay and, and yeah some of it's tough and some of it is a bigger picture that you yeah. gotta look at but for me there are people out there who are Bible literalists like yeah. well, well the Bible said that earth was made in seven days so obviously it's seven days um, but there are also some of us out there who realize that some of these stories are factual historical yeah some of them are some of them are poetry some of them but it, it's it's more about for me the Bible's a lot less about the how and a lot more about the why. Okay, I like that. So it's not like about that. yeah. It's it's not about building a house per se. Okay, it's about building a home. Does that make sense? Yeah. So 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 what you're saying is you know we, we, I, I want to keep these under 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, and time goes fast when you're talking to me, doesn't it? It's like it's like time just just it's just it's, it's, it's very okay. Thanks, Pat. That's what I was looking for. Um, so this gives you meaning. This gives you besides that milkshake. Just, just thinking. You drinking that milkshake and just, just loving life right now because that cherry milkshake from Nietzsche is good. so good. Me, it, it's it, thick. You're, yeah, yeah, it is thick. Um, Christianity gives you meaning. Yeah, I mean, because, because, because why? Because it does give you hope for when, when, when I wake up in the middle of the no, middle of the night at 1:30 a.m. For some reason, this happens. It's like I start to think, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm really gonna die. I get frightened, mm. and and, and, and uh, I think it's maybe because my faith has wavered in, in that. Mm. Uh, but with, with that said, you got you got two minutes to give me some more meaning here. Well, let's not just keep it about... Okay. I think part of it, that the part of the point we're missing is, um, you know, it's, it's not just... Christianity gives my life meaning. Yeah, my faith does. But also the, what my faith is about gives me a lot of meaning. I mean... I think one thing that, that Christianity does, I mean, besides salvation, besides, it, it, it helps me to be closer to others. Um, I think we're all made in God's image, and so the closer we get to each other, the closer we get to Him, the closer we get to uh, Him, the closer we get to each other, and, and that can play itself out in different ways. I remember three months ago, I talked to you and said, hey, I'm really struggling with my health. I uh, got bad knees. I just had knee surgery. And you said, come on in um, and we'll, we'll work with you. And that just, that alone going, we're not sitting down reading the Bible together, but you're, uh -huh. you're helping me through life. Right, right. But because we work out together at the gym, you're you're trying to get me to be more functional and and that sort of thing. So it doesn't always have to just like let's not just narrow it down to that little okay Bible going to heaven box. Um, I like that. I like there's, that. There's a lot more to our story and a lot more to the Jesus story than yeah. Okay. Okay. Dave. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, gosh, we're, when we cut, I promise people I keep it under 15 minutes because I think people will watch it more, but we'll talk more of this when the camera's off. Maybe we'll have you on the show again. All right. Of, of milkshakes and meaning. Well, next time I'll try strawberry. Okay, sounds good, Dave. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Hey, appreciate it. Appreciate, appreciate it, my, my friend. Yep.
See you guys. Peace.